Connecting the Dots, Reliving Northwood's History with Carrie Bladorn is brought to you by Fourth Floral, Mel's Trading Post, Rhinelander Brewing Company, and Ripco Credit Union. The Civilian Conservation Corps, or CCC, was one of the most successful government programs in United States history. The CCC left a legacy that has withstood the tests of time. Evidence of his work can be seen in parks, landscapes, and communities across America, including the North Woods of Wisconsin. Today, we'll visit some of the places where they operated and learn more about the important work of the Civilian Conservation Corps. Here we are at the Dells of the Eau Claire County Park, just east of Wausau, where the CCC built infrastructure including this footbridge, a shelter, a campground, and hiking trails. All of these improvements have a distinct CCC style, which highlights the partnership between the many groups involved with the Civilian Conservation Corps. Natural areas like these showcase the beauty of America and provide places for activities such as hiking, fishing, and camping. The CCC was a program started by Franklin Delano Roosevelt, one of the country's most beloved presidents, and elected to office four times. A New Deal program, the CCC was spurred on by soaring unemployment rates of 25% in America and the challenges caused by the Great Depression. In 1933, federal entities, including the Department of Labor, enlisted young men between the ages of 18 and 25, and later expanded to 17 to 28, to serve in camps ran by the War Department under the guidance of the Department of the Interior and Agriculture, with a special role played by state and federal forestry departments. Never before or since have so many federal and state departments worked together so well to improve America's public lands, forests, and parks. The work they accomplished spanned from sea to shining sea. Many of our nation's state and national parks were built by the young men of the Civilian Conservation Corps. Popular parks in Wisconsin constructed by the CCC include Devil's Lake State Park, Wyalusing, and Copper Falls, to name a few. CCC enrollees that were mustered to the Midwest underwent training at Camp Sheridan in Chicago before being shipped out to work camps in the Sparta District of the Six Corps area, including Wisconsin. In the Northwoods, major CCC camps were set up at Tomahawk, Blue Lake just south of Manaqua, Rib Mountain, Eagle River, Scott Lake near Three Lakes, Blackwell near Leona, and Elko, among others. Subcamps were also used, such as at the Lang Lake County Fairgrounds, and one located just west of Rhinelander on Highway K, the current site of an experimental forest research station. The young men lived in army barracks and camps ran by the military. The enrollees were instructed in a regimented lifestyle and used gear left over from the First World War. For many enrollees, it was a life-changing experience where they received three hot meals a day, warm and dry sleeping quarters, some for the first time in their lives. The young men enlisted for six-month periods and were paid $30 per month. 25 of that pay was sent directly home to their families. This stimulus helped millions of Americans survive the lean years of the 1930s and gave a much needed shot in the arm to the American economy. The CCC worked stringing phone and electrical lines, improving landscapes and waterways, building state and national parks, fighting forest fires among a myriad of conservation efforts. More than anything, they planted trees. The CCC planted over 265 million trees in Wisconsin, totaling more than 3 billion across the country. The CCC was instrumental in replanting areas of northern Wisconsin that had been devastated by the logging era just several decades earlier. Extensive work was done in the Shiguamagan Nicolay National Forest, as well as state and county parks, including Rib Mountain State Park. The camp was located on the banks of the Wisconsin River below Rib Mountain, where this neighborhood sits today. Much work was done to improve the state park established at its top by constructing miles of trails that traversed its hillsides. The ski hill that would become Granite Peak was originally cleared and built by the CCC. The magnificent shelter lodge they constructed is still in use today and indicative of their long-lasting efforts. The CCC was disbanded in 1942 as the United States prepared to enter World War II. America was fortunate to have a well-conditioned group of military-aged men at the ready, thanks in large part to the work of the CCC. The camps were dismantled, and in many places, little was left but the pine trees that were planted over them. 
the important work of the CCC can still be enjoyed in the Northwoods parks and forests today. In the end, nearly 4 million men would serve in the CCC across the nation, 125,000 of them in 128 camps across Wisconsin. The legacy of the Civilian Conservation Corps has been well preserved. A number of places in the Northwoods are available to learn about this storied part of American history. In Mercer, an interpretive trail system highlighting the history of the camp there and the work they did in northern Wisconsin has recently been opened. Rhinelander's Pioneer Park Historical Complex has one of the best CCC museums in the nation, with one of the most complete collections of CCC photographs, documents, artifacts, and equipment in the state. The work of the CCC can be viewed at this museum, housed in a replica CCC camp building. Everywhere you travel in the United States, you will find the lasting work of the Civilian Conservation Corps. The work these men did stands as a monument to the youth of the 1930s and the place that they earned in history. The Northwoods of Wisconsin is no exception, where the benefaction of the CCC can be enjoyed by Wisconsinites and its visitors for generations to come. Next time you're on a family trip, look for their contribution at places you visit and honor the work left behind by the CCC. I'm Carrie Bladorn, and this has been Connecting the Dots, reliving Northwoods history on Newswatch 12.